Marco, welcome back. Um, how pleased are you to return to the club? Thank you. I'm very happy to, to be back. It was a long time. I don't see the, these players. I don't see the, the people here. So I'm, I'm very happy to be back and very happy to train with, the, with this team again. And we watched from afar, but it seemed to go very well at Lille. But how was it in your own words? I was, for me, it was a very positive season. Um, I had the problem. I was injured for, for too long. But without this problem, uh, the season was very good for me. I uh, played a lot of games, I met new people, I, I knew a new country. So it was, uh, it was good for me, everything went well and I got some new experience for, for my life. And do you feel like a, a better footballer now, now that you're back? Yeah, I feel more, I feel more ready to, to this challenge to, to play here. Uh, so I'm feeling, I feel better football now. What are the main things you learn, not just as a footballer, but also as a, as a person as well? I learn a new language, <laughs> a little bit of French. And I know I learn a new culture in, in France. Uh, I, learn, I learn a new style of football. Uh, so these things were, were all things to, for me to grow up as a person. And as a football player, I met um, new players, I met new people. So it was also important for me to, to know a new style of, of football. You have so much goodwill from, from City fans. I notice just on social media, you get so many messages of support. Um, you seem to have a really special relationship with the fans. Yeah, it's true. I uh, feel very, very happy about that because while I was uh, at Lille, I always got a lot of messages from City fans saying that uh, they want me to go back to Manchester. I was really pleased to, to get this, this message. Uh, it's, it's a sign that people like me and uh, it's, it's a motivation to keep doing my, my work. Brilliant. And did you follow City games from afar? Yeah, yeah I, was, I tried to follow as many, many games as I, as I could. Uh, it was okay, it was not a very good season, but Still, still good. Okay, and um, this season, do you think we'll, we'll have a better season? We're a better place to challenge this year? Yeah, uh, we won two titles in a row. So last season we didn't, we didn't win, but it was just one season. I hope and I believe that this next season will be, will be much better. And we've just in the last couple of days added Raheem Sterling to the squad. Is he someone you're looking forward to playing alongside? Yeah, I've been, I've been watching his games for two years. And uh, he's a great player. He's fast, and I think he's, he will bring something something new to to our team. And uh, he can he would he will improve here because he's, he's young. So, but he will improve. He's a very good player. And do you think it's important to have youngsters challenging the established first team as a? Yeah, I think it's good because it's more competitive. You know, more competition in the team. And this is good for the team to, to go forward and to get better. Just finally, what would represent a good season for, for Ronnie Lopez this year? <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's my goal. I always try to, to, make, uh, to make the things right, to, make, to give the best uh, of me to the team and to everybody. And uh, to, to make a good season uh, would be very important for me, even for the people who get to know me better and get to know what uh, I'm capable of.